Hello, everybody, and welcome to Quitscast. My name is Agro. I'm joined today by Vituft and Harry. Today we got um, the Geezers versus Choking Hazard. Uh, the Geezers. You might recognise quite a few of those players from Ganja and uh, I think Gabby Goo was Gabagool. Uh, and then on the red team, we've got Choking Hazard, uh, who have played lots of like Diff 1, Highlander, and Sixes. So lots of seasoned players that we are watching today as we run up towards the mid, see how it'll go on. Absolutely, there is a lot of activity already in the mid. The battle is taking forward right, right in front of our eyes. It's going to be a lot of exchanges of death and life as we see uh, adventurous players attacking that force with such gusto. Indeed, Matic was the first one to die. Their blank is traded out, though. Health is a lot better for the Gears as they can take control of the point. They're looking to chase some frags. Guard does go down. It's a late death on the demo, which is going to be rough for Choking Hazard. And there is a good start for the Geezers here on this first middle. Yeah, it looks like they've taken it already. Geezers are actually at a tremendous advantage. Even before we get started, they only need to win two maps uh, of this uh, ilk and this type in order to take the championship for themselves. So a lot of effort is having to take place here. Uh, just to maintain neutrality. Yeah, it's a boss best of five today, but uh, the geese are starting one map up, seeing as they are the higher seeds in the playoffs. Black going for the spoon, not, not quite getting it as Masek comes in for the bomb onto Asian, but he's cleaned up. But does manage to get the force though. Uh, Triple and Matic coming up on the spawns quickly with a full ubercharge here. Does mean that Tricking has a chance to be re-pushing this. Yeah, they're coming out in full force now. I wonder whether or not they're going to be holding on to this uh, or actually use it out the gate. It looks like they're opening the gate and walking through at the moment. Uh, are they going to find a... Oh my god, they managed to get Agent there. Massive sticky and pipe combination from Gar there. It's going to be uber charge advantage as Matt can survive. That is not going to be the case as Huji does manage to come in, gets that bomb, does get cleaned up for his troubles, but uh, you'll certainly trade that out. And with 1 minute 50 uh, on the clock left for the geese, they have a nice little time advantage going into this um, kind of mid round here. Yeah, it looks like they're all up at the same time as well. There's, there's no advantage for either team, so it looks like they almost returned to, to a state of neutrality as we did in the beginning. Yeah, we we'll do have a bit of an advantage here for Adrian, but it's not too big. That will certainly uh, very possible to equalise that out during the rest of this fight. But we have uh, Medic's really aggro on the point here, dealing a load of damage to Gar, but he's just too aggressive compared to his team. He takes all the damage, triple getting that kill as the Cow Mangler getting spammed in by Blank and Matek here, trading some spam. Blank coming forward with a bomb here, gets massive damage onto the entirety of the red team, and it means that Huger is able to clean those two frags up with Gar and Matic going down. It's only triple a Mac, who are going to have to run away with their tails between their legs. At least their med survives there, but it does mean that Geezers are going to be able to get the cat back here. Yeah, Blank chasing all the way in as well, kind of hanging out in that front area, expecting expecting them to be pushing through. Uh, a little trap being laid up as well for them. Uh, will it get an opportunity to be used? Yes, it is straight away. There goes Triple, uh, falling and eating the deck. Yeah, so bad frags to lose. You don't want your scout dying when you're trying to push here. Matic has cleaned up as well. That late death is going to mean that it's going to be a massive delay here. Blank not quite able to catch Mac there, but does have some pressure in. Agent with the Uber as well. So it's going to be an Uber exchange coming in quite soon. The stickies are not up anywhere. Huge is all isolated here. He's going to be a free frag here if Triple can get onto him. And Agent's not going to be able to save him, but Triple's having a bit of a beef. He does manage to get the frag. The Ubers are traded, but Agent's Ubers will be so much better. Are you Say Ubers are traded, they are not. They're only finally being pushed now for the geezers. They are in a massive state of opportunity here. And yeah. absolutely will utilize it to a certain extent, but not as much as he actually take any kills. Yeah, the damage did come in, but no one is cleaned up until Matic just needs a massive cow mangler shot from Blank. The Uber is about slight advantage here for Mac and the choking has a team, but the space advantage in for Geezers is just massive. And the frags are going to be big as well. Blank is onto Mac, is yep. cleaning up that frag, and Gar is also going to go down here, I imagine. Absolutely as well. But Blank was doing a lot of work there, a lot of carrying. It's a lot of positioning as well. Oh, He's, uh... the spoon! Oh, <laughs> oh Matic with the clean up on the uh, Menex frag there and instantly jumps in, gets Agent with the spoon. There was no counterplay there. Blank, uh, sorry, Menex uh, 
not alive to deny that bomber. It does mean that Trekking hasn't have a way back into this round. It's not looking good for them, but at least they have a chance. Yeah, slim chance is better, but none. I'll take it right now. I'm sure they will too. Max all alone on the low ground, though. They have a pyro on Matic, actually. They've swapped off their soldier for a pyro. They've recapped the point. There's no overtime for the geezers, so it does mean that Trekking hasn't can theoretically let them recap this at some point. Matt going down there to a pipe and triple dies from Menix behind and the pyre is just not going to be enough as Gar and Matek fall and that's going to be the first round here going to the geezers. Absolutely solid take on their point. They, they had and controlled that point throughout the entire mission. Uh, a little bit of forward holding, a little bit of uh, extra aggression on their side, and they're really making use of the space that's available to them as well. Spreading themselves out nice and thin, and really forcing this team to, to look behind themselves while they're running forward. Yeah, that's the first round on the board. Each map is best of five. We have four maps possible. This is Maple Ridge. We'll go on to Badlands next, and if we get to it, Cornyard or Bagel. But focusing on this second mid right now, Spam is being traded across the point. Early pipe hit onto Huger, but Triple is going to die instead, which does mean that there's no Scout in, the Soldier Bomb is going to come in, no Scout to deny, and Gar is going to go down to a, a nice double from Blank there, and Gar um, uh, cleaned up by the Sticky, and Huger now just coming forward, seeing what he can do, pressure some Stickies up, and the cap will go to the Geezers on the second middle as well. Yeah, Blank's even pushing it even as we speak, trying to get uh, down Metek, uh, wouldn't it be interesting to see if he goes down, he's left alone on his own. Yeah, we have Blank coming in though from the side. The quick fix has popped out actually on Mac. The huh? Uber is quick fix for the uh, choking hazard here. The Uber is forced out. Stock Uber here for the geezers, but Blank is in behind in the shutter. Mac is all isolated here. Is going to get a nice surf. Is surviving for now. Ow! But he's in massive pressure. But a triple and the surf, that combination was good enough to keep Mac alive. And now with a solid um, quick fix advantage here, Chicken has will be looking to take this point. Only 40 seconds off the clock as well. It's a much better start here for Choking Hazard. I genuinely have no idea how Max survived that. That was incredible. That was hanging on by the, the skin of his teeth in order to ensure that he survived long enough to be useful and definitely uh, being able to flip things around right now. I think the, the change of weapons, the change of tactics is something that this team was not prepared for. Yeah, the Quick Fix there showing uh, its power here as we have the Quick Fix charge coming in. Blank and Manix. Menix are indeed caught and Mac is also able to get another frag um, with his team and it's a full wipe here Ooh. for King Hazard. That's an absolute, they're showing the power of the quick fix there. The, uh, it popped out, the healing was really strong and it meant that the uh, jumping forward was really good. But we've had actually a swap onto the Crits Creek by Asian. Obviously the uh, quick fix is pretty much hard countered by the Crits Creek as the damage is just enough to instantly kill you from full health, full buff. So it doesn't matter that you're healing really quickly as we have Blank coming in with a bomb manages to fade away but gets damage onto the combo and Shokin has now in the lead for the first time this match uh, on the point with a quick fix Gar bombs forward looking to catch Agent isn't quite able to and it means for now in. oh tries to get the spoon again unfortunately uh, goes down for his troubles yeah, unfortunately not able quite to find that. And now with 80%, 5% for Crits Creek, it's looking like a good repush opportunity here for the Geezers. 95 coming up. The Crits Creek will be coming out soon, I imagine. Here it goes. It's in right now. The Crits oh. Creek are coming across, but Agent goes down to triple. Nice flank coming in from him. And it's a nice clean up as well. And with 60% quick fix up on the uh, choking hazard side here. And over a minute up on the clock as well. It's looking really strong for them. Mac is actually on fire here. He's going to get caught by Blank. Oh. The cow mangler fire shot was just, the charge shot was just too strong. Blank knew he'd hit the medic, and then it was a massive bomb in there. Mac with a massive surf earlier, but not quite able to show, um, show his skills off there. Absolutely incredible prediction skills as well, being able to set him on fire just enough to know that he was going to be retreating back to the med pack and then landing in on the med pack as well. Oh, the spoon comes oh, in. Oh, oh. I'm talking too much. My apologies for <laughs> interrupting spoon moments. Yeah, and Agent actually did go down in that and has swapped also over to the quick fix. So we've got two quick fix Ubers coming out. It looks like this um, in, in this in this round right here. We've got 31 seconds left for choking has with two minutes 15. Geezers are way back. Um, in the kind of like in the back seat of the car while well, Chicken Hazard are in the driving force at the moment. We do have two minutes left on the clock here for the geezers. Quick fix are about equal, and it's looking like some sort of forward hold coming out from the blue team here. Yeah, geezers love to be able to hold Swap as far forward as humanly. Well. 
Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah, once again, Matek is on this Pyro, swapped off that Soldier roll, and with both both teams on Quick Fix, that's surprising to me. You can't want that um, move, like, oh. That movement. Oh, Say what, what you will. Yeah, Say I mean, what you will. It doesn't matter what you want. It's what you get. It's important. Yeah, it is indeed. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised, surprising they swapped off their Soldier here um, for, for a Pyro. Seeing as you want that mobility coming with the Quick Fix, but it doesn't really matter if you manage to get those Med Picks with those Med Pipes and Blank on the low ground. He's having to back out. And Choking Hazard looking like they're going to be retaking this point. And with 1 minute 15 seconds left on the clock for the Geese, is 31 for Choking Hazard. And Quick Fix advantage is looking pretty good for them in this second round. Absolutely. They are holding good and strong and steady. Although a little bit of a push here from the Geezers gets them fit back on the ground. Uh, and perhaps even uh, recapturing the points, although they've got to be doing it pretty quickly. There's only about 20 seconds left in this uh, momentary round. And the quick fix does come out. Menex is the first one to die. The blank is on the point as the soldier coming in behind is on guard. And that's shown the power of <laughs> the quick fix Uber there. Yeah. It's just you don't have enough players to deal with the healing. And you just it's basically an Uber unless you have some sort of crit creek or uh, sticky trap or something like that. And Do we like that BM on the point where they're uh, celebrating a little bit too hard? <laughs> I think they knew like, everyone was dead. It was too far away. It was. It was a slight. It was slight BM, but it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't too, too bad. bad. It's not too <laughs> egregious. <laughs> that is the first round that Geezers have lost this entire competition. What? Um, they've won. Lo they've won every single map 3-0 so far. So that's the first round down. Can they lose at the first map as well? As we do have quick fix out on both sides here. Fifty percent as well from both. It's equal. Quick Quick fix up, uh, situation here. Mac avoiding the pills excellently, showing why he's a prem medic this season in sixes. And Blank is going to go down. Matic as well. So both soldiers have been traded out. Menix has the space advantage along with Huger. The low ground is where the red team are residing at the moment. Triple's really weak. Gar is adding some pressure though, making sure that Huger can't just walk across the point. But he does get a nice little double pipe there. And the quick fix is popped out. It's going to be a lot better here for um, Geezers as long as they can survive in this survival. Like they are will. surviving. Indeed. Now, this their opportunity to push in and make real good use of that medic weapon and here they come they're pushing in with full force now and take, oh, take out surf. car what a surf from Mac once again showing why he's a prem medic but he's in front of the spawn door not quite able to escape into it and is able to be caught he almost survived there that was incredible surfing from him but not quite enough and we do have a 33 percent advantage here for the geezers as the spawn has come up for the choking hazard team here they are coming out again, trying to figure out what is going to be their best choice of exits. They've, uh, they do seem to favour this this kind of stable area, but there's some stickies there waiting for them to come out. They've gone round the other way. Here they come now, uh, pushing in against Black and uh, taking a bit of a, a high attack route is Matic. Yeah, lots of beating coming in from the gears is onto Choking Hazard. Matic down weak once again, but Menix is even weaker. The demo goes down though. Huge trying to bomb in with the quick fix, but Mac gets out uh, with his team. And it's going to be a recommit in here from Gar and Mac, but it's just too late. And they do drop two, so they run away with the full quick fix in tow. Gar is going to manage to survive for now, but the spoon is too strong. And um, Blank cleans up Gar, but he. Um, survive, surviving skills there coming in from Matt, uh, Mac, sorry, as we do have Quick Fix on the side of Choking Hazard. 60% on the side of Geezers already, though, as we do have the Quick Fix coming in. Menix is going to go down early. We have Huja able to be caught here if a bomb comes in, but no bomb is to be found. Blank and Ooh. Sticky Trap uh, is just too strong. As we do have the cap coming in from Choking Hazard, but it just is not going to be not great. Gonna last. Absolutely no, not going to last at all. Uber is now ready to be returned. It's been oh, utilized. But they drop that's an absolute massive freak. There's no demo man. That's one fuel bomber for your quick fix here. As Gar is just able to survive the quick fix. Healing rate is just too strong. As we do have only a soldier and now a scout is in. That's going to be a lot tougher to survive. The spoon comes in and Matic once again on that pyro. Uh, want to know why they keep yeah. switching to this pirate what they're kind of thinking it feels like they're doing a lot better with matic on the soldier it just it feels like they're just trying to cook and pun intended there on the pyro too much oh that is pretty much appalling but you i think you're right with this one this team seems to be able to utilize a variety of tactics and force force the enemy to be on the back foot when they do so uh, but it's actually being progressively less and less useful 
Yeah, and they drop their soldier, sorry, their pirate there. I was thinking he must be a soldier, but Huger goes down. The quick fix comes out from uh, Adrian, but they drop two. Uh, uh, Menix is down. <laughs> Gar managing to survive on the top there, as we do have the cap coming out from Choking Hazard for now. Adrian falling back, and Huger is, uh, sorry, and uh, Blank is as well. Trying to get pressure here onto the geezers here are Choking Hazard, and they do indeed get a frag. Indeed, they do. Right, it looks like uh, they've got some time ticking down on the clock for them, but maybe maybe not a huge amount. There's a whole lot of action going on with uh, both Menex and Agent going down on the Giza side. They've been forced to reset themselves. I hope, uh, I'm not sure Blank's got the, the, the uh, memo, though, and he's uh, little, uh, trying his little luck. Getting yeah, a couple of shots here. Trying to, I think he was just trying to get damage onto a Mac there, or maybe get in, into a position where he can get a bomb in, uh, but it wasn't to be found. And now with quick fix advantage here, it's looking good for Choking Hazard. The bomb comes in. They do manage to get a frag onto Huger, but they swap the, they, they trade their demo man and triple goes down as well. And now this is showing why you want that soldier with your medic rather than the pyro. If they had a soldier, they could have bombed out and had his medic jump away, but the pyro is just nowhere Eight, nowhere near as mobile and that means the map goes down as well that was a really poor push there in from choking hazard it just means that now with quick fix up on the side of the geese it's gonna be really tough for them to get back into this round i think matic was uh, healing gar when gar just did a, a nice little uh, sticky jump in but uh, threw uh, matic into uh, or threw mac into a place that he wasn't expecting to be the quick fix comes out they find two quickly here triple and gar going down mac doesn't uh, make it out to spawn. Matic is back on the soldier class as well. That's, I think, what we like to see. They seem to be doing a lot better with him on the soldier, in my opinion. Um, at least so far, as Blank is still in their spawn. They're actually holding really far forward here. It's incredibly it's... far forward. They're practically up their noses at the moment. They're trying to leave through spawn, and I think this is the only one time they're not guarding that particular exit. Uh, they have an opportunity now. They're going oh, around the no. side. No! I hate what, to see it. See. <laughs> That's really not what you want to see. The sink stickies coming in, getting three frags. And it is a, uh, another round on the board for the geezers. They're jumping in this board with a quick fix. There's no way back into this round. And it's now 2-1 to the geezers. Choking Hazard did nearly come back into that round midway through, but a poor um, quick fix push coming out just was not able to save them as it's now map point to the geezers. Reminder, they are, although this is map one of the final, it's technically map two in terms of the scoreboard as the geezers are currently 1-0 up for being the higher seed. Choking Hazard need to win this round to equalize it in the map and then hopefully equalize it in terms of the match as well. Mac on the, sorry, Matic on the soldier. Spam coming out, traded. Triple goes down though. Menix managing the focus fire and Blank with the frag onto Matic. Mac is running away as that fast as he can. was being chased. Mac has managed to escape, oh. but uh, not without leaving the door open a little bit and maybe, uh, ooh, maybe that's uh, too bad for them. Yeah, he was trying his luck there, shooting, uh, leaving the spawn there, but uh, did not commit for it. Triple's actually on the Huntsman, gets a massive frag onto Blank, a nice arrow coming in. That's an opening frag for him as he swaps back over to the scout. It's equal quick fix situation here with Matic. Kabuk jumping in from the right-hand side of the red side. We do have the force coming in from Triple. He's had a really great life so far. The quick fix is forced, though, by Choking Hazard. I'm not exactly sure why we do have a uh, uh, massive uh, advantage here for the geezers here is they have two frags up and it's an equal quick fix situation yeah it's a bit of a, a known moment there i think they've uh, forgot for a moment there's a clock associated with this round as well since these teams don't seem to be uh, oh, communicating no. but here we go the, oh no minus me there goes choking hazard they've been dropped and destroyed only matic left alive to try and do some damage can't find a single kill and the entirety of Giza is just enjoying the nice little holiday that is theirs. Uh, as uh, as we see, finally, Joking Hazards are respawning and making another swing at it. Yeah, showing the power of that soldier is Blank. Blank is from 47 points, whereas Matic is on only 17. It's having a rough time of it. Gar going down, dying to that stickies of huge errors. We do trade out Manix though. It's a three versus three, but Matic is not long for the world as he dies to fall damage. And it does mean that there is a quick fix coming out from the geezers with uh, an advantage in the favor of Choking Hazard now. But 
with Mac only just building, it's actually only 30%, which is not long. That's about 15 seconds, 10 seconds or so um, with the quick fix. So it's really not long for them to try to catch Agent in this quick fix. Yeah, they've got to be able to survive long enough to actually make use of it as well. And there's no guarantee they're going to be able to get that done as well. Here we are. They're looking at a point where they're about to escape and really oh. make some kind of a movement. There goes Triple, though. It's uh, three versus four. And in this situation, it's not the situation where they want to be. Yeah, they do get a frag, though. Matic does get the demo man, and then Menex is cleaned up by the lock and load. With Agent in front of the entire team, the quick fix is popped. It looked like he had to get a saw. I think as Blank comes in, trying to get some frags. Gar is actually coming down really weak, but Triple's back now to help. And Agent going down to the lock and load. It's actually going to be a turn in the uh, choking hazard's favor here. As we do have the Geezers giving up the point, but they have 30 seconds left on the clock. 30 seconds is between them and the second or first or whatever point on the board for them in this final. <laughs> <laughs> Unnecessarily complicated scoring system they've got going on. Black survived that one as well. Looks like the entire team is ready in full force, willing and able to come back in now. Uh, a little bit of an advantage in terms oh. of me, but again, need to be able to live to survive to use it. Mac just about gets it, but that shows the uh, downside of the quick fix. He was really weak, and although it is 300% increased heal speed, which does mean that you uh, get uh, 70, so 108 point, 100, 100 point eight health per second, 108 point health per second is not invincibility, and it does mean the Mac does die halfway through it, and the Choking Hazard now down a Demo Man, having to fight this out, otherwise they are just so far behind in this round, with Triple taking damage early, he is going to be healed up here, as uh, Blank and the uh, Huger are going to be spamming out the Choking Hazard players, they are weak here, they haven't capped quite yet, but at least that's in Choking Hazard's favour, with Matic jumping in, does manage to get Huger along with Triple Punk as we do have Triple getting Agent as well. Gar going down, but Max still alive and Menex going down. It's only up to Blank to try to save this part of the round, and it, now it's not to be as we have Choking Hazard with 90 seconds coming up on the clock, with 30 seconds on the geezers, but they do have that full quick fix advantage. Absolutely a massive advantage if they can make use of it and wondering whether or not they actually will or when they're going to be using it as well. Uh, now would be a good time maybe when they've got a team of being offensive. And finally we see a bit of effort oh. going on there. But there goes Mac and there goes Gar and there goes all of the hope for the future. Matek left alone to try and defend the point. Can he do it? He's surviving so far, but I'm holding my breath, hoping that I'm going to be able to utilize all the words before I can say, no, he does not. That is unfortunate. <laughs> they did survive for a very long time. They're delaying for as long as possible. They need as much time off that clock as possible. Every second off the clock for trading hasn't in a swing of two seconds in their favor, as we do have geezers now down to 16 seconds on the clock. It's going to be do or die now for choking hazard, as we have them pressuring in. Matic is now back in the fight. He's, he's going to be weak, though. And and it's three oh my frags, goodness though. me! Three quick frags as we have Choking Hazard saving the round. They have the quick fist to contend with, but Choking Hazard not quite able to cap it up. It is overtime for the Geezers. Any cap now for the Geezers will win them round instantly as we have Mac now on 95% before they didn't want to take it aggressively because Adrian was playing so far back he was not able to be caught, but they ended up dropping. And now with Mac so far weak, he's taken a rap assassin ball and they're going to have to use it, but now they see Adrian. Adrian's catchable. If they go a bomb on, but Matic isn't bombable, but they get the frag anyway. The stickies from um, Gar are just too strong. Now triple cleaning everyone up. It's an absolute cluster everything. <laughs> cluster <for> everything. <laughs> a cluster for uh, Choking has We have 25 seconds on the clock. There is going to be enough time to get a quick fix with the increased charge rate, but it's only going to be enough time for Choking Hazard. These have to be taking it in now before the quick fix comes out. I've seen that little sticky trap and it looks like it's been spotted out as well by Kiesa's team. They, they got Zane close to the rock and backed away again. Here's an exchange uh, going right down. Now Matic is uh, hitting the ground. Oh, but Choking Hazard just have to make sure their med doesn't die. They're going to use it instantly. Triple just needs to reconnect with his medic, and he does do indeed that. And we have Blank on the point now. His HP cleaned up, but he jumps away. He's not able to be found, but now Huger is going down. Blank is too weak. The bomb comes in, and Choking Hazard able to hold on. That was 
Jesus round from the start and they managed to throw it away and it's an easy round coming out from Mac in the chat. We send it to 2-2. Two, two. We've already had two more rounds than Geezers have ever lost in this competition so far. The first two rounds they've lost and it's been on this first map. It's been a crazy first map so far. Absolutely. I don't know about you, Harry, but I'm kind of hoping that maybe the uh, the uh, Choking Hazards win this one so at least the scoreboard becomes a little bit more normal. <laughs> Indeed, it could be lovely if that were the case, but not lovely is triple dying early as we do have Geezers uh, getting an early frag. Matic coming in for a bomb onto Agent. Does find a bit of damage, but it's not going to be enough as Gar comes in trying to find Agent again, but he's just too far back. Mac, though, is able to also leave, so it is going to be a slight advantage here for the Geezers in terms of their quick fix advantage, but it's yeah, not going to be... It's not going to be anything it, worth it, talking about. It's only about. advantage if they utilised it in that moment when we were talking about them having an advantage because they've lost the advantage. Now it's back down to everybody is, everybody is awesome. <laughs> Everything is awesome. Yes, As we do have the geezers trying to fight back. Uh, choking hazard, but they lose their demo man, which is not really conducive to a good fight but what is good for them is they haven't used their quick fix it is coming in now as Mac jumps forward with Matek they find Menex on the frag though and it's going to be a spoon a mid quick fix spoon coming in from Matek this is why I wanted him on that soldier class putting so much more impact he was on the pyro and he's showing why he's worth that slot on the team as they get that cap coming out so we have two minutes one two minutes eleven seconds sorry on the clock for geezers and an Quick fix advantage here is probably actually going to mean that it's about 50-50 coming so far mm -hmm. into this uh, in this round here. Yeah, absolutely. As the geezers start pushing forward hard into this point, uh, it is almost certainly going to be the case that Mac will survive long enough to be able to utilize here the quick fix. There it goes. Oh, they get huge as well, and Adrian is on the low ground, not able to survive. With Menes getting the scout frank, though, it's going to be really good here for the geezers, as we do have better spawns coming in. Oh, no! <laughs> That's not what you wanted. I was going to say, if medics can just survive, that scout frag and demo frag are going to be coming in very late compared to the um, geezers frags. It would be really good, although it is still good for them here. Choking has it now up on the clock, but up on the quick fix as well, with Agent on fire and really weak from that cow mangler shot coming through the shutter. He's just going to have to brave it and come forward, as we do have Matek going down early. Does mean that Gar is also going to be a frag, and Mac all alone is going to die. They were not able to protect their medic and now it's gonna be a recap coming in from the geezers with a large quick fix advantage if they can no. manage to snowball this into one extra um one extra advantage they manage to catch mac with one quick fix it's probably gonna be round over at this point but that is what has to happen the Absolutely. train hasn't come through the shutter if they could just bait their medic slightly uh, it's going to be a quick fix coming in Mac is on the low ground does manage to come back kite it out we have triple forward here there's a nice bit of quick fix advantage here it's about 50-50 once again in this round with Gar taking spam the fight comes forward lovely arrow from Mac here Gar surviving so much spam does manage to get cleaned up in the end but they trade a Menex frag for it focusing so hard on that demo triple comes in and take wins the 1v1 we do have Matic dealing a load of damage though to that soldier of blank but triple goes down early as we have the manglers being traded out the quick fix is going to be an advantage favor mac matic why matic. how oh no that air shot onto matic is going to mean that the quick fix is going to be up for adrian with not enough chase for choking hazard to find it before the quick fix is going to be traded out adrian is going to die not die sorry mac Use left him alone how on earth that wasn't been taken advantage of i have no idea Oh. No reason whatsoever they should have survived that, but the still, boxing. nonetheless, did. Oh my god, Adrian's movement is incredible. Matek just being run around in circles as he manages to hit a couple of rockets, but it's not enough as Adrian, nice and healthy, is a bit of a unfortunate event there for Matek as they come back in through the shutter on the side of Choking Hazard. They're having to do something. Mac is really weak. Gar is too, as we have Triple taking the 1v1, more like a 1v4 it at this goes point, blank. as we do have Blank jumping forward. In the shutter comes Matek. Blank, uh, sorry, Huja is now behind matic is actually going to um, die here but we have so much uh, space here as we quick fix comes out on the side of tracking hazard they managed to get the point but the quick fix is going to be re-exchanged onto them as we have menix 
pressuring them back towards the spawn. Triple is going to get spawn, though. Not the own spawn. <laughs> They're oh, being forced no. back into the opposition spawn. This is unbelievable. Mac being left on his own to try and defend against Huge. And oh has no God. chance. Yeah, the... Uh, <laughs> the frags coming in for geezers there as we have nine seconds left on the clock and that is going to be all she wrote is checking has no way back to the point that's going to be a close three two in favor of the geezers they are managing to hold on they got a couple of key frags and it does mean that they are now up to zero in this grand final it was map one but it's also map two He's looking for his first kill on that pyro class. Um, do it, Masek, do it! I <laughs> believe, believe in you. you! We certainly believe in you, as we have different rollouts coming out from the teams. We have a uh, valley rollout from Jaden Hazard. Geese is going through house, as we have both teams play around their train. Spam coming in onto Gar, as he does get knocked down really weak. Triple too aggressive there onto the domain. is caught out by Menex, and it does mean that Choking Hazard are going to have to back out, as Matek really weak as well, not able to play forward. Um, without that beam, and it does mean that geezers are going to be having to just cap that point nice and simply, and it's going to be a nice first cap there for the geezers as both teams have quick fix it. I think geezers being a little bit more respective this time, not holding uh, quite so far forward. Uh, possibly trying to necessitate. Out. Matek goes down, just not able to survive, taking all the same damage as the rest of his team. And Triple does get the frag onto Huja, which does mean that it's going to be a Demoman sort of advantage here for Shoking Hazard. But that soldier coming in is going to find Ooh. Mac. Shows you the power of that soldier jumping forward with his medic. It's a completely free frag. And that now is going to be swinging back into the geezer's favor as guys on Choking Hazard are going to go down. Quick fix advantage back in favor of the red team here. Yeah, Matic was definitely out on their own for a little bit there. They decided to run back and, and bring Medic with them. They're still being the pyro, the, the class that we know that they need to be. It's not what you want, it's what you need. <laughs> well, I think it's more of what, uh, yeah. What I want, what I want. <laughs> it's more of what Agro wants and not what the team needs at the time. But we do have Matek and Triple finishing off blank, but Triple dies in the process. It's going to be a three versus three. You have a soldier, and sorry, a scout and a demo versus a pirate and a demo. It's going to be in favor for the Oops. geezers here until that charge comes up, but that charge is not going to come up for now as we do have Mac does now have the charge. It's going to be used on that pyro but he's just so slow he's not able to chase and it does mean that charge is going to get nothing and although they will get the cap it's going to be firmly an advantage of the geezers in the refight here they're not even going to get the cap not even going to get the cap in forward they do get a frag onto matic the stickies just are just too strong stickies actually count the pyro because of the way it works you can shoot high you can shoot low it's really difficult to air blast everything as we do have gar fighting in does get the frag, it does get fragged out. Use. Mac is going to have to kill bind, and it's just Matek left in the spawn with one minute left on the clock. They're, they really want this pyro to work. They really do want the pyro. The pyro can definitely work, just needs to find the right moment, the right, the right feeling, the right sense of purpose. Pyro's forever. That's what I say, and I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we do have the pyro taking all the damage and he just Ooh. dies to a scout. He just got shot by the scout Absorb. and it does mean that it's going to be Gar going down as well. We have Mac is really uh, just all the way by himself in the spawn surviving which is good for the team but it does mean that with only 30 seconds left on the clock they have no space they have nothing to do and they're still belligerently using this pyro he's on the bridge he's going to be setting blank on fire here as they walk through valley geezers adding some pressure onto them on from the high ground as we do have mac taking some spam they don't have the quick fix quite yet doesn't quite like happen. behind them though die no not quite does get the use gar is going to matic gets a frag onto blank menex is also Go, going to fall we do have the charge coming out from the geezers but it's not going to be enough the frag is going to come out onto the medic of adrian um and it's going to be a quick fix advantage, but it's overtime in, uh, for Geezers. with yep. three minutes on the clock for Choking Hazard. It's not looking good. Oh, this is just them warming up. I'll have you know. This oh, is where Pyro's Pyro comes into the own. <laughs> Pyro Finally. Very good for warming up. Yeah. Right. 
Uh, so you do have Blank actually in the valley on the sniper. It's not the valley, sorry. He's by the stairs on the sniper class, adding that sight line all the way through, just cutting off everything. Triple's trying to deal with him. As so we do have Matek is pressuring in on the combo. It's going to find a frag onto Menex and Blank and Adrian go down as well. It's going to be a full wipe from the... Uh, side of Geezer's I just, only I, I don't losing have to say this, Tommy, but, but Matek was, was, was hugely influential in killing that bio, uh, the, killing the medic. A lot, a lot of damage uh, was, was a result of Matek just doing incredible work. Uh, absolutely incredible. Unmatchable. Yes, it has taken nine minutes of pyro play, but he has managed to get two frags. You do have the pyro uh, absolutely just denying all the frags for the geese at the moment. Matek finding a third so far with Blank getting caught out by the detonator. But Agent manages to survive as Triple goes down. We have Huger on the low ground. Is going to get a pipe onto Gar. Is looking for a frag. Matek comes. So Mac gets really weak. Is going to die. Oh. oh no. Mac is just down. And if only, if only there was just slightly more damage coming out onto that uh, demo man, he would have survived. But oh. not to be. To rub it in. And with geezers pressuring the point now it's all up to triple triple can't do it on their own that is the sad truth of this mac left uh, out and uh, that's that's going to be the way it is i i think i think we might not see matic play by <laughs> just just a, just a subtle a subtle suggestion that maybe no, maybe Matic still on the pyro still on the pyro he's still go, on the pyro <laughs> we believe you go pyro power yeah, we have a rollout coming. Actually, Bagar going a different route to the rest of his team. He's managing to avoid the spam for now as we have Matek trying to get those air blasts in, but he's... No, never mind. Well, he's no, he to get does. He's done it. Oh, my God. He gets that flag, flank under uh, the point as we have Huger going down. And Adrian is really weak as well. He does take a pipe. If only they had a pyro on the side of Geezers, he wouldn't have taken it. It, it does exactly. mean... It, it does mean that we do have... Um, the pyro putting actually a lot of impact there on that on that second mid here. Checking has it with the opening frag. It's looking good for them in this second round so far. Menix going down to a sneaky trap as well as the charge comes out. Here comes the flames of, of Matek as well, pushing in quite heavily against Hugay and Agon. Yeah, we have frags coming in. Triple managing to clean up the medic there. Triple does go down, and it's now just Mac all alone with two on the side. Huger goes down with uh, from the flames of Matek as we have medics cleaning up the pyro. Geese is looking for the cap here. We have 40 seconds off the clock for Chugging Hazard. Yeah, it looks like there's, uh, there's not really anyone there to, to cause them any delay in capturing it either. They've, they've definitely oh, managed no, to take it to... What have you seen? Oh, Gar just bombing in, not quite able to deny the point, and also just not quite able to add enough impact to mean that his team can uh, clean up those frags. It just means that they managed to just get all the frag skeezers there, and it's going to be a nice um, situation here for them as they have the point, they have the quick fix as well. And it, they're looking for a catch on Shaggy Hazard here. Yeah, Menix was was kind of waiting to see where they were going to be coming out, which which uh, which orifice was going to be their exit point. Um, oh, Gar's getting pressured. Here we go. Agent goes down though. Triple with a double shot, double meat shot there. I think coming out and dropping Agent. Well, not dropping. He dies halfway through his charge. But it does mean that everybody will die on the side of Trekking Hazard. But you have got rid of that quick fix. Um, and your better spawners does mean you're not going to be waiting for too long for yours. Um, although triple with a 10 second spawner is going to slow them down slightly. Indeed, it's a it's slowed down a little bit this game. I think that, uh, that there's less people to kill at the moment, so there's less action to see. But uh, that said, uh, we are seeing uh, Manix, uh, Matex doing his uh, circling thing, trying to be effective on their own as a Roma Pyro. Yeah, in he comes, trying to get some damage in. Does manage to get a nice air blast there. Not able oh. to protect his medic though, as we have Blank coming in from behind and getting that absolute classic soldier flank um, with a massive double frag for him there, I think. As oh. we have the geezers. Matek has changed. It's a soldier now. Pyro left the field. Pyro Done their work. Indeed left the field, and it's looking like geezers pressuring forward. 
we have the frag coming in for triple with blank going down but gar is traded out by Menex, and it does mean that matic bombing forward now adding some pressure fades away Triple yeah. all alone. Mac not able to quite get the beam onto him. He is now going under triple. He's behind. He's not spotted. He's getting some good damage, but he's just cleaned up by Menex, who's on an eight kill streak here. Matek coming in, hits himself for around 100 and then dies to a sticky. It's not a good life for him. Maybe he, maybe the Pyro was the play. Maybe Pyro was the play. I think I think we all know it secretly in our hearts that Pyro is definitely the play. Then I think the reality was that he was, he was looking for that spoon, looking for that, that kill of action, uh, being left on your own, left in a, a situation where you can't support the rest of your team uh, is not necessarily the best play when you are facing a larger and better organized foe. Yeah, it's looking like the geezers are in control of this map a lot better than they were on Maple Ridge as Triple goes down to a nice sticky trap from geezers here. We have pressure coming in, Mac having to use his quick fix, trading out with Agent. They're just trying to stay alive, trying to rotate. Matek coming in, Spoon not quite able to find it. If he managed to find it, that would have killed the medic with 188 health. That's less than the crit damage Spoon, and it does mean that it's not going to be enough with Mac dying in the post to a Spoon. But uh, geezers up two rounds to zero. They're on map point. Point. They're actually on match point now as they are up 2-0 after one map because that's how it works as we do have a best of five It's first to three and it's with Matic on the soldier here Let's even have a lot of lovely impact on this class like he did have on the pyro class last bit Ooh, That feels like a blow blow from you sir Nonetheless, a lot of action taking place in this mid section. We've got a little bit of soldier under the point going up against uh, Black, who has Ooh, just nice dropped. Pipe. Oh, I didn't see that. Nice pipe coming in from guard. Doesn't open the front gates as Hooter goes down uh, as well as Triple picks up two. Agent does survive. Actually had slight quick fix advantage there because he was healing slightly better, I'm assuming, but it's not going to be enough. No, it's not enough either to maintain that kind of advantage. No one to heal. Uh, the the uh, advantage has gone slightly, very slightly towards choking hazard, but it doesn't matter now. Everybody's equaled out. Uh, what they do now is going to decide their future. What happens in the next few moments will decide the very experience Triple of the world. In. Triple gets a frag onto Huger. That's going to be really good for them in the post here with no demo man. It's going to be tough for the geezers to zone people. Out. Oh my god, I had a bit of a hiccup there, I do apologise. Matek does go down though, and with Menex surfing all the way out, it's basically a 2v2 for the foreseeable future, but Choking Hazard choosing to back out for now, just adding some pressure onto the point with those pills, and it's it does mean that Blank is all alone, just get a nice little arrow there on uh, himself and picks yep. up triple. Indeed, I think Blank was probably pushing the boat a little bit out there on their own and uh, almost self-isolated to the point of uh, infirmary, uh, but it was uh, not really a problem that they should be suffering from. Either way, uh, Mac and Triple, and uh, I think now uh, Gar all moving together was one well-oiled stone in the gearbox of progression. Yeah, we do have Mac jumping forward. They're going Valley here with their sniper. Never mind, they swapped off that sniper. They're back onto the scout with the charge coming out. The quick fix, the bomb comes in. They're trying to damage those players through that quick fix, but it's not quite enough as Gar goes down. We have Triple and Matek gonna go down with Mac is also falling. Triple dies last after some lovely movement to survive. And it's just unfortunate that they're not able to punch through that quick fix quite hard enough. No, they were definitely trying though, they're pulling their all into it and uh, there was one moment where I thought they were nicely, they were either moving together as a, as, as a great team or else they were clustering together in a way that just made them much easier and effortlessly uh, to, oh, to die. No. Triple goes down to a trap and it means that Max is going to get the spoon. Got the spoon! It <laughs> does go down as well. Gar is caught behind. They're actually just going to leave him behind for now. They're kind of like half chasing, half like making sure that they just don't die. It's more important to stay alive in that situation than get that frag. It's important to get that frag eventually, but make sure you don't die in the process is the key. As you're blank pressuring forward in Valley, frags coming forward. It's gonna be the quick fix coming out. So we have Mac only on 40%. There's no charge coming out for him as he and Triple and Matic are all kiting it through. 
Matek bombing forward, bringing his medic with him. Gar is really weak though, goes down, isolated by the team. There we go, that's the spoon we love to see. Agent goes down with flank, is really weak. Huge Air goes down as well, and it means that it's going to be a really nice situation with Triple Here comes Blank. Oh, was that the taunt? No, what was he doing? Mac can survive on shot. No, he oh, can't survive no. a second. There he goes. That was an amazing opportunity there. That was a little bit laid waste by the sheer power and will of Blank. And uh, now we return to our regularly scheduled television where we see this team of extraordinary geezers having at it once again. Yeah, Triple accidentally taunting there, he's saying in the chat, means that they don't get the point and they don't have quick fix advantage with Geese. It's 18 seconds on the clock. They're going to have to pressure this choking hazard, otherwise they lose the game. That's a nice sticky kill onto Huge Air, and Blank goes down as well, denied by Triple. And it means that it is going to be quick fix advantage for Adrian, but the Geezers are going to have 10 seconds on the clock. And a fully enjoyable 10 seconds of power it is as well. Finally, for the first time, I think in the entirety of this map, we see Choking Hazard in a position of authority. Yes, they do indeed have the high ground. They are Obi-Wan Con. It, it is over! <laughs> <laughs> and Triple picks up the frag as well. Matic goes down in the back, though, and that's going to be a late death as well with a long spawn, which means he's going to be dead for quite a while. As Triple and Mac are still flanking in behind, the quick fixes have been exchanged, and it's going to be a frag coming up onto Blank, but Gar and Triple both go down, and now Mac is the only one alive. Geese just standing on the point after picking up the medic frag we have Matek jumping forward I believe don't know where he is at the moment he's hiding he's definitely hiding he's in the house somewhere I think firing the occasional rocket in the general direction of the enemy team but it's not really gonna be enough to net them any kind of a win here we see a last ditch effort going in Mac oh, and Gar pushing in with full force Mac yeah. left out on his own, surrounded like a sheep in Wales by a bunch of brutes. Yeah, it was a tough ask for them from the start. They did manage to get two rounds on Maple Ridge, yeah. meaning that the geezers are your champions of CL Season 4 EU Premiership, with Turkey Hazard being your runners-up this season.